You're welcome to Boom and Crush Expert Advisor. Let's continue the ultimate guide for beginners. This is part two. If you missed part one, click the link at the top of the video to access it. And if you're already conversant with Boom and Crush and want to learn more of the basics, then keep watching. Let's begin. Today I'll be taking you through ask and buy prices, placing an order, buy, stop, sell, stop, buy limit, sell limits, um, and creating a template. Okay, then we look at law sizes and candle percentage points and all that. And also we will look at how you are supposed to do these things on mobile phone. Right, so let me zoom in on this. And from here, you can see two horizontal lines. There's the green line, which says 13,015.9. And there's the, red, there's the red line. Now the green line is the bid price and the, the red is the ask price, uh, depending on which market you are so let's say um we're on boom 1000 okay now the bid price is going to be the green one and then the ask price is going to be the red so when i place an order my my green line which is my bid line is what is going to take the price at that point okay but the moment i start earning the profit is when the red line which is the ask price crosses the place i place my trade so to show you this okay let me go for sell because the market's already selling so sell now you see i have negative 0.03 which will be reading downward now the red line hasn't crossed that yet when the red line crosses it it enters into profit okay so that is how the bid price and the ask that's why immediately you enter a trade you are always in a loss before it becomes a profit because the ask line has to cross the place at which you place a trade before you enter into profit all right okay so let's also look at a uh, crash 1000 let me place a buy what happens is i mean a loss okay because it's the ask price that takes the uh, the the position i placed so the bid price would have to come and bypass that point before i enter into profit or better still the bid price rather is the red line in crash and the ask line is the green in crash so the ask is what you are asking for this is what you are asking for but what you place there was something higher than this so you are supposed to be getting say 0.09 okay but at the moment you are 0.06 why because that there, there is that spread that's the difference between the ask and the bid is the spread that 0.03 is something let me say something that goes to the broker okay so you bid a price but then you ask for a lower price you bid a higher price you ask for a lower price that's what you're asking for so and that's how that we're asking bid prices so you need to understand that and that is what makes you enter a loss immediately you place a trade and then we have placing an order placing an order for instance if you're using a laptop or yeah a pc you can press alt t to take away the one click one click trading it's called a one click trading um let's see right if i press alt t okay it should reappear and from here i can just click once and then it takes a trade okay i can just click it once let me close this I can just click it once like this and it starts to read okay it takes a trade now what if i don't want to use this if I don't want to use this, I'm going to go here, new order. Let me close this so that it always empty. I'll go to new order. And then I can choose to sell or buy. And I can choose to enter my lot size, which is the volume 0.3 or maybe one lot size. Okay. And they tell you this is crash 1000 index. That's the market. And then you can set your take profit. So as you can see from here, we have the, the bid and ask prices. Which one is the bid and which one is the ask? In crash 1000, the bid price is the higher one, which is this. This is the bid price and this is the ask price. Okay, as you can see, it's reading. So based on what you are seeing here, you could come here and then enter a take profit that is above your bid price. So you can enter one, a 130 zero one nine point nine this is it and then buy so it's going to take it when it gets to that point so when you come here you see it has already spelled it out for us one three zero 
19.0 and hsa is zero one three zero one nine point nine zero 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 so it's going to get there and take the profit do you see that so you can always uh, uh, you can always manually uh, set it or automatically click this and then it takes a trade then you can also right click and then you modify or you delete you can modify or you delete uh, Yeah, you can also set your stop loss here okay which is which will be lesser than your ask price right so this is our tp is now showing up which is here at the top so when it gets there it's going to pick the trade and this is going to turn the take profit is going to turn green okay it's going to turn green so every time you set a tp and it hits it it's going to keep record of it as a, a highlighted green price so when you come here you see it's green but for the trades that i didn't set take profit they are not green all right good and then um let's talk about the sell limit and all that now let's say this is moving upward okay crash 1000 is moving up so i am predicting that by the time it gets to let me pick my crosshair too which is this crosshair can be accessed by control f control f and then you use it to indicate stuff on the screen now my crosshair tool i could use it to gauge now when i move my crosshair you see a black mark here you see the black reading over there just as we have green here we have black for the crosshair for crosshair you can say okay when it gets to 13021.2 i want it to buy okay i want it to buy this is what we are going to do go to new order market execution choose pending order one lot size is okay then buy stop buy stop means that when it gets there it will buy when the price gets to that higher level it will buy and take the price along with it along with the market so buy stop and then your price should be above the bid price which is one three zero two two point say four okay let's place it good so it has placed it there and it's here placed okay please so it's waiting for the price to get there and when it gets there it will auto automatically pick the trade and it will take it along with it that's buy stop so you see it takes the trade and then it moves up with it so you could just tell yourself that okay the price is here the price is maybe somewhere here i want it to buy along when it gets to this side so you are going to set a buy stop for it all right makes sense so that's the same thing for uh sell stop for sell stop we can plan on selling from here one two zero zero four so we can come here new order pending order sell stop and then uh, we can set a price lower than this we should be one two zero zero five point two uh, sorry oh it, it just spiked so i have to change it one two zero one six point five and then place it there so when it gets there it's going to sell and continue with the market downward i hope there's no spike this time around it's going to sell with it okay so that's for uh that's for buy stop and sell stop let's say i'm predicting there's going to be a spike here for that i'm going to choose a pending order then i'll set a sell a sell limit rather not a sell stop a sell limit okay then uh i can enter my price one three zero three zero and then please so there's a green line right above the candles this is it and i can manually change it I can i can drag to modify because it hasn't yet picked that trade yet okay it hasn't yet picked that trade so you can see from here that when it gets there it's going to sell it's going to sell and wait for a spike so that's how you use the sell limit you want to sell but you don't want to sell at this point you want to sell at the farther point if a, a point that is above the current uh, market price so you set a sell limit 
above the current market price so that when it gets there it will sell for you so it will sell here and i can click on it and then drag and place my take profit here there's another way of setting take profit either you right click and modify okay and set your take profit or you just click and drag and set your take profit you can also right click and then modify and set your take profit and that's the same thing you do for uh, boom if you are thinking it's going to spike you can it's going to spike up you can set a, a buy limit somewhere here okay so that you it, it, it stands to say that we are predicting there's going to be a spike somewhere here so you want to set your your buy limit here so that it buys and waits for a spike you get the point so sell stop uh, buy stop and all that and let's look at how to create a template and and save it so you can right click on your screen go to templates and then save and then load right before that I'll do this I'll right click I'll go to properties and then let's start from common you can choose whether you want a bar chart you want line charts I want candlesticks and then uh, I haven't tried this chat on foreground All right so leave these things as they are and go to show for show you can decide whether to show your ask price and your bid price line I like to show both you can also click show uh, open high low and close these are candles okay and uh, colors now you can change the background color from white to black and then change the foreground now the foreground are supposed to be the numbers here so you can change them to white right and then the grid you can change it to light green and it changes the grid you can make it none so it looks empty okay you can change your bull candle you can make it a bit blue and you see they will change to blue and so on and so forth so just be uh, trying this stuff uh, according to your own preference when you're done and you click ok it's going to apply when it applies you just right click and then go to templates and then save template and then give it a name okay type the name for that template and then you save it so that's how you work with saving templates let's look at um candle points candle percentage points for candle percentage points in lot sizes um, let's look at lot sizes so we have crash 1000 we have crash 500 right um, well, this is really trending now for crash 1000 when you set a 0 0.20 lot size okay now 0 0.2 0 0.20 lot size is going to give you 20 cents if your your price level moves up by one value and crash 500 is going to give you 20 cents with 0 0.20 lot size when the price level also moves up by one value so what's the difference the difference is that for the thousands that is crash 1000 and boom 1000 it takes a longer time to acquire 20 cents and crash 500s or boom 500 or the 500s take a shorter time to acquire 20 cents if your lot size is 0 0.20 that also means that it is the loss on the 500s are bigger than the losses on the thousands because it takes quicker time to acquire money on the 500s and that is why profits uh, losses are larger on the 500s and profits are also larger on the 500s so that's the difference now for candle percentage points if i should move my crosshair from this side to any point it shows you 0 0.13 percent it means that if you had placed a buy here and the candle go here or the price level go here you would have earned 0 0.12 percent profit you see that you'd have earned that profit and the points keep reading the points 
uh, the point that is reading, which is uh, 160,984, is reading from here to the current price level. Okay, those are the changing points. Mm -hmm. And from from this side to this side, do you, you see you see 40, 48, where is it? 48 bars. Each bar represents a minute. It means that from where I drew my crosshair to where I currently am is 48 minutes. 48 bars equals 48 minutes because each bar is a minute under M1 time frame. Okay? You have M5, M15 and all that. So you can also do the same thing with your crosshair. You can move uh, across the candles and you find out that this is eight minutes you see eight bars over there and the percentage points 0 0.23 right so if you come to your history where we looked at the history of the trades you find out that the change is what 0 0.28 percent and then the the change here is 0 0.0 minus 0 0.08 minus 0 0.28 and minus 0 0.08 so depending on how much you are earning, it gives you a particular percentage change. All right, good. And your profit is here. Your the time you took the trade, the market, the stop losses, and all that. Now there's something I forgot to mention, um, which should be quite obvious. If I should place a buy here, and I drag, I click and drag the line and bring it down, it's automatically going to be what my stop loss so you see SL is written here and if I drag it upward it's going to be my take profit so that's one thing I, I forgot to mention and another thing I left out is the the buy stop limit and the sell stop limit because that is more complex and it's hardly used in in boom and crash this is supposed to be buy stop limit okay all right uh, but uh, we hardly use this so uh, let's forget about let's focus on buy limits sell limits buy stop and sell stops i think those ones are easier to relate with right so that's it for part two of the ultimate guide for beginners like the video share subscribe for more content and in your the comment section below you can tell me what you want me to make a video on and uh, i'll do my best to do that thank you bye